until she shut that down. Hey, everybody, we're back with one of the stars of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, Sir Paul Rudd. Um, you, uh, uh, you met, uh, you, you were at a, uh, you went to Taylor Swift, you know, because you got all these new fans this year for KC because, you know, all the Swifties came over, too. Yeah. Do you welcome them, or you're like, you're only here, Absolutely. you're here for the wrong reasons? No, 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 it's, 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 again, it's strange that all of a sudden all eyes are on the Chiefs. It's also weird because it's, like, now people, I was surprised there were that many cheers because people don't like them now because they win. And, uh... <laughs> It's like the only thing there is that your goal, in a way, is to become hated, <laughs> right? Because everyone hates it when you win, which right, right. I understand. Wow. Um, but no, it was it, like this whole thing is very, uh, it's very exciting, I think, for, uh, you know, I see those stories about the dads and their daughters and their interest in watching the games together. And I, I get all choked up watching it. And I have a daughter. She's into it. My daughter, by the way, is also, like my son, and it's, we has grown up a Chiefs fanatic, and she loves Taylor Swift. But when that first started, you know, it was like my daughter said, well, I wonder how many of these new Swifties are going to be able to talk about DiCaprio Boodle. And I said, <laughs> none of them, but you can. <laughs> he was on our practice squad for okay. a while. Okay. How old is your May I ask, may I ask how old your daughter 14. is? 14. When my daughter was 14, I took her to the Grammys and she met Taylor Swift. And Taylor was so nice to her that to this day, I would murder for her if she wanted me to. Yeah. Because she was nice yeah. to my fourth girl. She said, I get pretty it. girl. I'm like, whatever uh, you want, my queen, I will By murder. the way, and I went to that show, and it was incredible. And I was so the kind of, tour. Yes. And I was so knocked out by how there was like a stadium filled with 80,000 people, whatever it was. And I just thought there's so much support and love and positivity. And to feel that kind of that feeling with that many people, normally it's the opposite feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it gets pretty rough, and that's the Super Bowl. There's a lot of screaming and fans fighting each other yeah. there. It was pure love and support. It was incredible. And I was what she, she did it all. You, you met a fan of yours there. At, oh, the, right. at, yeah, the, yes, at yes. the Taylor Swift, <laughs> yeah. at the Taylor Swift concert, you, you yeah. had a fan of yours right there named Claude. Tell me about Claude. Yeah, Claude. Claude is a musician. Yeah. And uh, that Phoebe Bridgers was also performing with uh, Taylor Swift, and Claude is a musician that uh, I believe their uh, album is on Phoebe's label. And so okay. I met Claude, and Claude, I, I wasn't familiar with Claude, but Claude told me that on their album they had a song called Paul Rudd, and then. <laughs> Uh, Claude said that we're gonna film the video in like two weeks. Do you, you wanna, you wanna come by? <laughs> so I said, sure. Wow. And then, wow. I, and then I got to do, be in the video. And we have it, Jim. Oh, Claude. Yeah. Oh, it's your birthday. No, well, it's from my girlfriend, just a gift. You have a girlfriend? Yeah, <sighs> she's less. Yeah, I wish I had a girlfriend. <laughs> I just have a ferret. You're a really good musician. You're a really good musician. By the way, it. Claude is an amazing musician, and that song rocks. OK. Yeah. Good. Yeah. There that was another go. added bonus. There you go. Well, now you got the new movie. You got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Mm -hmm. OK. And brings back, brings back uh, most of the original Ghostbusters, including yeah. Andy Potts. Um, I understand you got to use some of the iconic props yeah. from the from the original of the OG Ghostbusters there, including the car Ecto One. Yeah, how's how's she drive? Cumbersome. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Like, not bad, not bad for a car that's been around a while. Because I think it's there's not a lot of them. I think that it was from the original. Like, sure, you know, it was old then. It was old then. Yeah, they, but it's. Yeah. The thing that's so crazy about it is that it's all of the things inside of it and yeah. all like the pa pa you know proton yeah. packs and the things in the car they all look like they would work. They all seem like they're heavy and there's wires everywhere and it seems like yeah I believe that this would be able to catch some ghosts. <laughs> and um, we have, and we, driving it was a, was a thrill. We have a clip here. It's you and the great uh, Carrie Coon okay. in this. Okay. Great. Do we need to set this up? And it's from Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm like, stay and fight for this place. We can't leave. I mean, 
there's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are they gonna call? If there's something weird and it don't look good. Who are you gonna, are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! This is the home of the Ghostbusters. Where are the Ghostbusters? Can I tell you something else? It's important. What? Busted makes me feel good. No, no. It makes me feel I suppose I could have set it up better. <laughs> Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is in theaters March 22nd. It's Mr. Paul Rudd, everybody. We'll be right back with 60 Minutes. Cecilia Vega.